Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to RimWorld Mod Testing where we are continuing our look at the Azuri uh, outfits and weapons that we made last episode as well as we are sending in our attack force which is this one to attack that now I want to make sure that we are saved just in case things go poorly which they might I mean I don't like the scum save but if I have to I might but you know I don't have anybody real vital there except for all our main fighting force not all of it because our main testers are here and they're a good fighting force too but in the process of getting all the uh, items made which took a lot longer than I thought it would um, there was a second ship that has now landed so now we have the Reapers here and a group of Reapers here which are gonna make the Reapers even harder now so this should be fun so we're gonna let the game run while we look at this and they'll pause when they get to the uh, to the land so here we go uh, we have the ambassador outfit this of uh, elegant outfit basically gives you 20 to trade and 20 to social impact which will probably be given the vivo Unless yours is better. What are you currently wearing? Uh, you have a flak vest. Armor. And you have a suit jacket. Which gives you 10 and 15. Uh, I thought you had another vest that you were wearing. Um, okay. Yeah, so I definitely want Vivo wearing the, which means I'm going to pause. I want a Vivo to wear the Ambassador. Even if it is only good quality, I still want you to wear it. And moving on, Commando Armor. This one is, hard to consist of several layers. Uh, this is a biotech. Uh, outfit basically it helps improve oops, why not close that damn it uh, it gives you 0.5 energy recovery rate and a plus zero limit um okay i don't know much about biotech energy limits but plus zero seems like it's a pointless stat to have um as far as armor, it's 127, 58, 53. Not the greatest. Uh, let's see. Then we have the Azari style dress. Full body elegant dress. Often worn among the finest. And that gives you a plus 20% social impact. Which would be fine. Uh, I probably would end up giving it to one of my uh, social people which is funny because I have this guy walking around in a dress already or did he take it off he might have taken it off uh, I had him in a dress <laughs> but I think yeah I think he took it off yeah he did ah you cheaty 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 but uh yeah, he did have a dress on, but he had a great dress on. Oh, that explains why there was a great dress laying there. It was his. Ha <laughs> Um. Yeah, I forget what the great dress gives you, though. I don't even know where they stuck that damn thing at, either. But, anyway, doesn't matter. Moving on, uh, the Azari Justicar Armor is plus one to your recovery rate and plus one to the limit now see that i can see 
a plus one. Ain't much, but it's better than a plus zero. 127% sharp, 58 blunt, 66 heat, and that is an outer layer. And then you have the crown, which gives you plus two to your recovery rate. Small uh, armor thing, but it's a headpiece, so... I mean, there are better headpieces, but if you want to set up for a biotech character, I guess that's what you'd want. Uh, the respirator, again, plus zero to your energy limit, which, again, I don't really understand. But then the minus 75% to toxic sensitivity is pretty good. Uh, the body dance, or, uh, yeah, dancer body suit. Uh, standard uniform for dancers will increase social impact greatly reduce your ability to be taken serious so basically it gives you plus 50% social but your trade price improvements minus a hundred percent so definitely do not want Vivo wearing that one uh, the matriarch crown is plus 0 0.5 for your recovery rate plus one for your energy limit and uh, plus 20 percent social impact so if you have a bio uh, user that you also need for social that would be good um, and then you have the major dress but first I want to see what because I forgot to see what layer that was uh, oh boy and you take forever putting it on uh, alright so that was okay so it's a skin layer thing well that's pretty good then um, yeah skin layer which also covers your pants which means you're going to lose that uh, .20 speed move uh, bonus but but you do gain more social and more uh, trade which by the way is weird I guess I I guess I just don't know how to read these things because I mean okay the trade price is 64.50 percent now, if you look, and I can't click off the point at it, but the um, I ones that we put in are both 20 each. I'm trying to move that so I can see. Okay, so 20% is from both the eyes, and then 10% from the psychic reader. Okay, and then 20% from the ambassador outfit that she just put on that's already 70 percent then you get another 15 from the jacket which is would be what uh seven, 70 85 uh and then the earring and necklace would bring it up to like 95 then Hagler gives her 20 percent which would be like a hundred and some percent 30 and then times 30 percent for social I, I I just don't get how that works um I mean I it's good I mean if she didn't have that stuff it'd be a lot lower I get that but I just don't know how that works and then 418 percent for the negotiation now see that seems more on target to where it should be roughly maybe but this here I don't know and her social impact seems meh, pretty much on target. But the uh, trade price one, though, that one throws me off. I don't know. Anyway, back to what we were looking at. The uh, matriarch dress. Uh, 14 sharp, 42 heat, and apparently no blunt. No, apparently not. It's a skin layer thing, so... Uh, it's plus two to your recovery, 
plus 2 to your limit and 35% to your social impact. So, if you have a warden, you know, that has a bio tick ability, that would be pretty good uh, just to have them in. Uh, now we go on to the weapons. We have the Azuri Assault Rifle, which is 17 damage, 30% uh, armor. Three burst count, range is 28, accuracy is pretty much crap. Though it's fast crap at a 1.75 cooldown and a 0.8 warm up. Then you have the pistol. Ah, and it looks like our people have made it to the uh, town that been overthrown, so we gotta give it a second for the map to load. Otherwise, everything will crash. And there we go. Okay, so now we are paused because of the attack. So, but we will finish here first. We are on the pistol. 14 damage. Uh, building damage factor 150%. Hmm. Okay. Did this one have a building damage factor? No. Wonder why this one doesn't. Uh, that don't make... Okay. I don't know. Anyway, uh, armor pen's only 12%, range is 23. Up close, you got 100% accuracy, short range you're down to 94, and anything beyond that you can't really hit crap. Uh, 0.2 warm up and 0.8 cool down, so it's a rather fast sh firing uh, pistol, which I think is about on par. Then you have the Azuri shotgun. Uh, 15 damage, 45% armor pen, 15 range. Again, you can hit okay up close and short. Anything beyond that you're going to miss probably. And your cooldown is 0.6 seconds and your warm up is 0.7. So, that is your shotgun. Then you have your sniper rifle. Now remember, these are augmented by their uh, quality too because this is a masterwork. Yeah, so it might be a little different if you have a good or normal or... Yeah, whatever. But anyway, damage 25. Again, a building... Huh, I don't know. I guess it, if you hit a building with it, it does more damage. Anyway, 25 damage, 44 armor pen, range is 50, and your accuracy is pretty decent even up close, I guess. Close, short is good, and then medium and long is under. Though the cooldown on the uh, warm up, it, you know, it's a bit slow of a weapon, but it is accurate and it hits like a truck, so. Ain't too bad. Um, a little less damage than the anti-material rifles, but still decent. Half the damage and half the warm up and uh, cooldown, I think. Anyway, onto the Azari sword, which is the only melee weapon added by the Azari, which is ten melee, ten point six four melee damage, uh, DPS, twenty six. Armor, and it also gives you a 0.1 recovery rate increase. So, uh, again, most Azari probably have biotic abilities, which would mean that them outfits would help them. Okay, so that's the end of the Azari side of the episode. Now we get to go have fun with the Reapers. And here's our attack force. Let's see what... Oh, well. Um, right. Pretty spread out area. Uh, what are you? Oh, boy, you're a brute. That's a big one. Uh, brutes. Brutes are 
synthetic organic creatures derived from the Krogan and turn tur I'm not even and mutated by Reaper technology. True to their name, they fulfilled a heavy melee offensive role in the ground assaults and can pummel smaller units into bloody paste. They are fast, strong, and known to get faster and stronger the more damage they take. Ouch. 110 sharp, 60 blunt, 200 heat. Luckily, their DPS is only 5.46. With a 49% armor pen. But that is still pretty wicked. Okay. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, we got the Banshee. Did we? I don't know if we've seen a Banshee yet. Banshees are synthetic organic creatures derived from Mazari and mutated by the Reaper technology. Frightling intelligent Banshees are advanced. Pressure units usually found leading a Reaper strike force. While slow, they can use utilize biotic abilities, including biotic throw and biotic charge. Ooh, that don't sound fun. Uh, their armor values aren't that great, and their DPS isn't that great. But I think what really gets you is their ability to use the biotics. Alright, so do we have any other... I know we have more. They're probably just hiding in buildings. Uh, there's the cannibal that we've seen before. A husk we've seen before. What are you? A marauder. Yeah, I think we've seen the marauder before too. Okay, so this looks like where the bulk of them might be. Um, let's see, six cannibals. And then we got four husk and looks like a marauder. Uh, there's probably not two marauders. Okay. Overall, I wouldn't say this is too bad. I mean, I expected it to be a lot worse. Um, right. So, let's get going then. Uh, first off, we send our dispensable ones. Because these guys can go... Oh, wrong set of guys. Um, hold on. Uh, you could, I wanted the mechanical people, not... Uh, could I just grab the mechanoids, please? Thank you. I just want to... Uh, no, I don't want them that close. Because once they get up there, they will not move. Which is a problem. Alright, so we're going to send those. Uh, now, I did send an extra person. I sent uh, Cockroach. He has the animals because I did not want them being involved with this battle. So, I mean, yeah, a couple of them could have helped out, but I'd rather not lose them. So... Alright, uh, let's see. We will move you up. Move you up. Move you up. I hate that they don't have defensive positioning, though. So, maybe I won't move you up. Maybe I'll move you there. Uh, move you there. Uh, move you there. There just isn't much defensive positioning here. I mean, unless I put them further away, I really don't have much area to work with. Now, you actually should go over where I just sent Meek. So, Meek, how about you come over here? No, right there. It'll be fine. Elena, you can go here because you, you're a dead shot. You three, three, yes, and just come over here for now so that way you don't get your asses killed. Where am I sending you? I guess over here, Randolph, or Rudolph, whatever the hell your name is. 
uh, can go over here. Ivan can go over there for now. You can come over here for now because you're going to be my backup crews. You two can come over here for now. Okay, I said two. That includes you both. Thank you. All right, move your feet. Let's go. All right, I have not moved Smarty, so we need to move Smarty somewhere. Uh, Rex, you can come over here. No, I don't want you to attack the wall. I want you to move to the wall. Ram, you can go over to the wall. Uh, where the hell is Panther? What do I do with Panther? I don't... Ah, oh, there's Panther. Okay. Uh, Panther, he can come over here. Monkey Slayer can go over here somewhere. And Dune, you can come over here and just chill, Woody. Uh, you can go up here, I guess. Okay, and that damn brute is running away. Really? I thought that was supposed to be the superior melee unit. Oh my goodness. Even my top shot can't hit you up there, huh? No, you're just out of range. You ran away like a coward. Okay, I guess we're moving up. Um, Let's move like this. That way I can try to divide the force between the areas. Alright, we'll let them go up there. What's going on up here? Are they not moving either? No, they're all like hiding up in here too, huh? What's growing up here anyway? Butternut squash, huh? Okay, uh, seriously dude, I thought this was going to be a lot worse. I probably didn't need to send the attack force. <laughs> okay, so you guys and ladies can start moving up here, I guess. Um guess for now we'll just move you up into this area uh, and then my extra attack horse here I guess we'll move up in to this relay map you had a rubber band on me huh all right let's uh, move this secondary attack force up here where the hell is that holy hell yeah the brute is fast but Man, I can't believe it's running away. <laughs> I thought it would have charged at us, but nope. It did not. Uh, I'm sure once we get going, though, they will... Oh, somebody did hit it, though. Oh, one of the, uh, Knight got it. Nice. Knight managed to get a shot in on it before it took off. That's cool. All right. So, everybody's slowly moving up. Panther, didn't I send you up? Mm, Panther, pretty sure I sent your ass up here, but I might not have. That might be on me. <laughs> might, but I still blame Panther. We love you, Panther, but, you know, God learned to follow orders. Alright, so... Let's see how we want to distribute people now. So, uh, Elena probably should be moved. Where are you? There you are. Over here. Because she can probably pick off somebody from here, I hope. I'm not sure, but maybe. And then Meeks can move there. Smarty can move here. The rest of you will deal with in a bit. Okay, so I want uh, not that many. I want half my force to move up there, but I don't want them to move up until 
Elena's in position, so... Which shouldn't take her too long, though, actually. So, let's, uh... Move them. Again, not a whole lot of cover opportunities, but... They are expendable, so we'll just... Try to spread them out and send them out that way. How far they get before they engage anything and decide to quit moving is entirely up to chance so no I don't want you you're going on the other side this attack force of 25 I want to send out here yeah cuz they're gonna be dealing with this side basically I want them to act as suppression fire so we're gonna send those ones out there while the Lena come here uh, we will get Panther, 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 you're here somewhere, I know you are because I just sent you over here, unless you didn't make it that far yet, oh my, where the hell is Panther, come here, I'll just grab you here, there you are, I couldn't see you, okay, so, you currently have your charge rifle, which is okay, or I could put on the uh, lance, which don't really tell me how far you can, oh, there we go. Alright, yeah, your, your lance can go a lot further, so the only problem is that you will shoot through your own people. Uh, yeah, but luckily I only have the robots up there, so let's send Panther up there. With the lance and hopefully she won't shoot none of the robots because honestly that lance will cut right through them but the nice thing is we could actually target like this building and cut right through and possibly hit other targets as well no, I don't think we're gonna have to worry about that okay good I didn't move Elena on the shooting range yet which is good now panther however is gonna be able to shoot huh well you're watching for targets so that's good let's uh yeah you definitely have the range like i said i could aim for this target here and go right through and maybe hit somebody uh you if i aim I don't know if I can hit there, but maybe. Uh, yeah, I guess you can. Okay, good. Though, I probably shouldn't do that until everybody else is in position, so. Okay, could we start moving, please? Oh my god, they're so slow. Seriously, come on. I know there's a lot of uh, guesswork here. You know what, you might want to start aiming, because you do take a little while to aim. So, let's just have you aim there, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, because you do take a little while to aim. Uh, whether or not she actually hits anything's... Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so they are attacking us now. Alright. Did we actually hit anybody with it though? I don't think. No. Unfortunately not. I don't think we did. Oh well. And they are attacking us now. So Elena, if you would be so kind to move right there. That way you can start looking for targets. Like that. Very good. And that is one cannibal down. That is why I like Elena. Because Elena is very good at dropping targets. Oh, yeah, by the way, you... Uh, can you... What is your... Oh, yeah, you got crappy range on that weapon. Alright, stick to that weapon, I guess. 
though I don't need you shooting uh, the wall anymore how about we actually aim for a target this time um, crap I don't think you can actually hit anybody though uh, there's cannibal there I'd like you to aim for that brute but I don't think you can actually hit the brute maybe oh okay you guys need to do more spreading but like I said once they start shooting they don't want to move they quit listening to direction you see those ones were gonna move and then they start firing and that was it can I at least get you to move out of you know nope as soon as they go to move they start firing and that's it all right uh, this side's firing too so now they ain't gonna listen to anything but at least they got into semi-decent formation all right uh, the rest of you guys honestly I'm not gonna send out and get you damaged until I need to I guess uh, you I would like to target that because we need to bring that brute down and you don't seem to be doing much to anything so let's see but you still can't hit shit at that range so again you're gonna just have to deal with well, I guess keep aiming at the brute and hopefully we can do something to it and never mind the brute is dead okay um guess aim for that one then and you can uh aim for that one that'll work and the robots are handling their side of things so relatively, uh, relatively uneventful. Um, yeah. Uh, area now safe. Caravan can re-enter the world. Base destroyed. And we get bonus to some, uh, factions for destroying the, uh, menace. Okay, so unfortunately we had to destroy the base to save it, but yeah, it is what it is. But there you go, we took out the Reapers. Which again, wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I could have probably just sent Elena and Panther and they could have probably handled it. I mean, that may be putting a lot of overconfidence in Elena and Panther. Because don't forget, the robots here did a decent bit too. But the rest of my attack force really didn't need to come. I could have just sent the robots and them, I guess. But, alright, so where are we on recording? Uh, we are at the 33 mark, so I think that is good. Um, as far as these Reaper ships, uh, well, I have the attack force out. I might go check out a Reaper ship. Uh, let's see. If we reform caravan down to here, it would take 2.8 days. And if we go here, it would take 2.9 days. So either way. Is a pain in the ass to get to. Lovely. Still need to do that hunt too. That's 1.3 days to there. And I got a hunt up here I need to do. Uh. Oh. Uh, instead of going to the Reaper ship, I might just blow them up. But then again. I want to see what happens if you try to properly take them out. Crap. I don't know. 
anyway I think that'll be it I think I'm calling it there for today and we will figure out what we're going to do with the reapers another time so if you want to see a reaper battle again let me know in the comments if you don't well let me know that too so thanks for watching like comment subscribe all that fun stuff till next time I'm out of here bye bye